So, you know Mario Party, the game from the Mario franchise that sees the characters run around as snakes and ladders like board chasing stars and competing in a very random assortment of minigames. And you know how much fun it is to play it with your friends every now and again. You can also imagine how much work it would be for a single person to make the whole thing by themselves. So when Jirushi got in touch to involve me in a 50 developer collaboration to remake all of the classic minigames, I was in. There's about 50 of us, and there's exactly 50 minigames in the classic Mario Party game. If I move quickly enough, I should be able to reserve one of those I like the most. Luckily, I have a whole list to choose from, and from first read, I think I'll go for Hot Rock Jump. Okay, then maybe Bumper Balls? Oh, Bumper Ball Maze is quite a similar though, so I think I'll settle for that. Oh, come on! <laughs> Luckily for me though, in the end, I managed to find one that no one had actually called dibs on yet. In Slot Car Derby, each player controls a little car on a track by pressing and releasing the accelerate button. The cars follow a looping path and the first one to complete two full laps wins. If a player speeds up over a certain limit, their engine will fail and they will have to wait a couple of seconds as a penalty. I think it's doable, so let's do it! Researching how to make all of this, I remember that when working on my own game the last day of summer, I had played around with Cinemachine's dolly track and card system, and that's exactly what I need. The package contains two classes, Path and Smooth Path, that allow you to move nodes around the scene to form a path using the zero-like 3D curves. Then, using a dolly card, any game object can move along it by just setting its position on the path itself. By calculating the travel distance and adding it to each card's starting position, I'm able to have them all start from different points on the track, but still be able to count how many full laps each of them have actually completed, and by just adding some manual controls for the speed and acceleration, here they are! They're beautiful, aren't they? Well, not yet. The technical part ended up taking a beauty of 45 full minutes, so I decided to experiment a little bit with the art of the game and try out something new. Of course, I have already ripped off Nintendo's racing games, so modeling my own Mario Kart is off the table. That's why this time I picked up my markers and paper for the first time in years, and I started drawing. And honestly, I have to say that I'm very happy with how things turned out and I for sure was not expecting them to look this cool. Then, as it's now common news on this channel, I whipped out my guitar, launched Guitar Pro and wrote a short piece for the soundtrack. Then, I exported it in MIDI, plugged it into a GX SEC and turned it into an 8-bit chip tune. Here is the result. That's it, this was kind of a shorter video than usual, but one can only farm so much content from two hours of work. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much to Andrew and Jerushi of the Devlogs Club for organizing this entire collaboration, and please make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and check out the description for a link to my minigame and all of the other minigames that the other creators have made. This said, as always, I've been Pita, you've been great, and in case you decide to stick around, see you next time.